All right, we're about to make some deer hamburger, ground meat, whatever it is. A lot of people, uh, they don't care for deer burger, but if you do it yourself, it ain't that big a deal. And I'm going to show you our method, and Lord have mercy, some people will think you're crazy, but what we do, we uh, of course, we take the back straps out. I'm going to go ahead and show you the meat. Well, you got the inside tenderloins and the back strap, set them aside. Debone everything else, soak it in ice and cold water and drain that off. Maybe once every hour, three or four times, that draws a lot of the blood out. That's where the gamey taste tongue comes from. Now, some people may say that's sacrilege, that's crazy, but hey, I had all girls and they didn't like that wild game taste. This is what we do, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through the process. <laughs> All right, like I said, uh, got the back straps and the inside tenderloins out yesterday. Deboned the rest of the deer. It wasn't a giant deer. Cut it up in chunks, let it soak in an ice. I just used an ice chest, put ice or cold water. It got down, you know, 33 degrees last night. So I just put water on it, drained it two or three times. And this is how much venison I got to work with. Now, you, you got to cut all the fat off. Deer fat is not good, unlike bear fat or beef fat. So stage two is uh, trimming. So I'm going to get my knife and my knife sharpened out. Stage two, trim the fat. All right, that's not all of it. I got two more pots sitting over here. There's the venison. I'm gonna put it in the freezer while I'm doing this next step because when you go to grind it, it needs to be ice cold. Everything just works better. So off to the freezer with this. All right, venison's in the freezer. It's gonna chill for a little while. This right here, beef fat. You used to get it free. Uh, uh, I got this from the grocery store. He charged me something for it. Hey, that's okay. It's uh, 2021. I, I guess that's the way it is. The, your, your, your butcher or your meat shop, if you go in there and say you got any beef trimmings or pork, pork fat, either one, because venison is so dry. Uh, I'm going to cut this up in pieces about the same size as the uh, venison. And then when I get ready to grind, I'm going to grind one separate, and then grind the venison separate and then mix it together and run it back through on a fine grind. So next step's beef fat. Pork fat would be fine. And here's a tip. If you're not really, really, really good at sharpening one of these, get you one of them with the replaceable blades when you're trimming fat. Yeah, pretty awesome. I got the deer meat boned out, cut up in chunks, all the fat off of it. Uh, I got beef fat cut up in chunks, waiting. This and all that's in the freezer because it's uh, it's time to grind now. This is the only other than some hunting skills and a couple of knives. All you need is one of these to process deer meat, and uh, you know. I got a processor I love called Fork in the Road over there in Caledonia, I think it is. That guy is awesome. But sometimes you can just, he, like he's so busy right now, you can't always get in there. So I'm going to let him do the smoked sausage, but I'm going to do the ground beef. And that ground beef, I used to do it all the time. I had access to a, a pro-grade one of these, like the professional model. Don't have that access anymore. been using this one. And if you got this and a couple of knives, you can do it. This is 
less than a hundred bucks at Walmart. I went and got it. And uh, I think it's a half horsepower, pretty heavy grinder and it comes with everything you need. A coarse blade, which goes right here in the front. We'll talk about that when we start grinding. And a fine blade. I run it through coarse, mix it all up again, and run it back through the fine. But that right there, I think it's made by Weston. That's a gamekeeper version of the meat grinder. Less than 100 bucks for me at Walmart. And uh, it works great. I've already been using it. So time to grind. Before you get into all that meat grinding and all that, and all the deer meat, you're going to need one of these. Now this is a good seven point. He had a good bit of meat on him. It's one that my brother killed at the, um, where'd you kill it? At the swing set by himself yesterday. It was his first deer by himself. It's a nice seven point. Um, it, when he shot it, its heart exploded. I've never seen somebody get such a good shot on it. Um, you got to gut it and do all that, but I'm just saying, before you get all to the meat, you got to get one of these. That's just, you can't get that far without one. It's just got four pieces to it, three or four. Here's how it goes together. All right. There's, there's the main working stuff right there. It just slides in the front, just like that. It's got a little lever here. One says lock and one says unlock. You stick it in there and just lock it. The pan goes on the top, like so. That's where you put your meat and stuff. Boom, feed it out and comes out here. Comes with two of these grinding I call them plates. This is the coarse, that's the coarse one and it comes with a fine one. So uh, I'm gonna run it through the coarse first and then we'll run it through the fine, see how it goes. Plug it in and let it rip. What do you think, Crank? This looks cool. Huh? It's awesome. You think you can eat some of that? Oh, yeah. All right. Here's the deal. I cheated just a little bit. I found a half of a pork shoulder <laughs> that I hadn't smoked. And uh, through the magic of video, I, I thawed that thing out. So I added it to the beef fat. So I'm gonna end up with a pretty close to 60-40 mix, 60% deer meat and 40% pork fat and uh, beef fat. So finally, time to do the venison, then we'll mix it and then we'll run it through the fine. What do you think, Crank, good to go? Yes, sir. All right. All right, we got half the venison done. I got that much beef and pork fat. So now we're gonna dump that in together and mix it. Try to mix it with our hands and then run it back through the uh, grinder on a finer cutting blade. So here we go. Frank, you ready to dig in? Okay. It's gonna be cold, I'm just telling you. Roll your sleeves up, mix it up. We got to get it all mixed. I finally got a little help now that all the meat's trimmed, but anyway. Switching to the fine course. Got this mixed up pretty good. Now we're going to run it back through with the fine blade.
Well, we're not 100% done with the task. We got Yaya over here. Ricky's cleaning up the grinder. And let me tell you something, the $99 grinder is unbelievable. It, uh, it blew through this stuff like crazy. Anyway, she's putting it in, uh, she's vacuum sealing it. I went ahead and held some out to make some smash burgers because uh, we hadn't had any venison smash burgers in a while. As soon as they cook a little bit more, I'm going to smash them down. Get some onions and throw them out here, but... It's also been a while since we've even had burgers. Yeah, on the griddle. We ain't fired the griddle up all hunting season. So anyway, that's the good part. That's the payoff. Knowing where your protein comes from, and I'm telling you right there, that's about 60% venison and 40% beef fat and some pork fat mixed in, and it, it's cooking good. So uh, I'll let you know what everybody thinks. All right, straight up honesty. <clears throat> you know, we're no, we don't lie about food. Mm -hmm. How is it? You wouldn't know it's a deer burger if somebody told you. For real? Mm -hmm. What's your take? It's so good, oh my goodness. It's phenomenal. What do you think, Ricky? I think it was amazing. I've already got one down. That was great. There's another one up there. I'm going to get one, too. All right, we're going to write that off as a success. <clears throat> May do it again. Matter of fact, Cranky's already asked me, which way is the wind blowing? So he's uh, he's the trigger man today, right? Mm -hmm. Is it good for the dump again? Oh, yeah, perfect. Because I need to finish that hunt. Yeah, we do. Good for you. Yeah, got cut short yesterday, but it was for a good cause.